Yo, what's going on everyone? The Micro 47 here, and today I'm gonna to be talking to you about Mixplay. Mixplay is something you can plug in to your mixer streams that enables the community and your viewers to interact with you on a different level and on the click of a button. By the end of the video, I'm hoping you'll have the basics understood, it's set up for you, and a couple of buttons enabled so users and viewers can get a chat command and a sound clip directly through your stream on the click of a button. So there's about five steps and I'm gonna take you through step by step to get there. So let's start. Step one, head over to mixer.com slash lab slash interactive. I'll put a link in the description for this video. Sign into your Microsoft account. So I'm gonna quickly do that. Once you're signed into your Mixer account and your Microsoft account, you'll either go to the API access or the Mixplay project screen, and you wanna be in the Mixplay project screen. As you can see, I've already got one here that I've used before, but for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna create a new one and work this through with you so you can follow exactly step by step. Step two, hit this little plus button over here to create a new project, call it what you want. So I'm gonna call it test and game. You, you can add a game, you don't need to. I'm gonna add Apex because that's what I'm playing a lot of right now. Hit save and then this will take you through to an info page, which for now you can just disregard. And what you wanna do here is click this build button up here. Okay, step three. Now this is where you can sort of customize the look of the mix play controls that will appear on your stream, rather underneath your stream. All you need to do here to get something appearing is hit this button in the new controls. I'm gonna add a button. You can do a lot more than what I'm gonna do, but this is very basic. We're gonna call it test button, click add, and then we just need to make sure that it's got a name as well. So we're gonna call this test button as well. Close that again. I'm gonna add a second one as well, which is test sounds. Click add and do the same. Give it some text, test sounds, click close. And now all you need to do is just drag these somewhere into this blue area down here. So I've got test button and test sounds. Then make sure you hit the save button in the top right. And from this point of view, that's it done, okay? All we're gonna do now is we're gonna head over to a chatbot and we're gonna link those buttons to do something. So step four, get a Mixer chatbot. For this, for Mixer, for me, I use one called Mixer Up, but there's others out there. All the chatbot needs to have is mix play integration and capabilities. That's it. So I'm just gonna boot mine up now, my Mix It Up bot. Uh, it will log in. Okay, so once we're into the chatbot, you just go over to your mix play section and then change the game. It relates to the project you created. So ours is called test. Add that, boom, you're in. Okay, you're almost there. This has been super easy so far. So step five and the final step. Now you've got the buttons linked and the mix play linked. All you need to do is make those buttons do something. So all you need to do here for the test button, I'm gonna add a command and it's gonna basic chat command. Send as the streamer, so it'll come from my voice. And I'm just gonna say, thank you so much for testing my buttons. Easy, hit save. Then what we're gonna do is to show you this, I'm gonna get my chat over here as well. Uh, and then we're gonna test that button. Test the button and it'll say, thank you so much for testing my buttons. Simple, right? It sent that message in my chat the user, the viewer can press that button. Now a bit more of a fun one that you can use is this sound file. Now all you need to do is click that sound button, take to whatever sound file you want. I've got one already that I'm gonna use. Set the volume, set the spark cost. There's all these bits you can do. Pretty straightforward, hit save again. And this test button is them pressing the button on your stream, okay? So this is the viewer pressing the button. And it does it for you. It's a great way to add additional interactivity with your stream. It took me an age to figure this out, but relatively easy once you know what you're doing. I hope this tutorial has helped you. If you've got any questions whatsoever, drop them in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer them. And if you could give this video a like, if you've enjoyed it, if you found benefit, and subscribe to the channel, that would help me massively. And let me know that 
you know you want more of these kind of videos and i'll do that but for now as always bye